Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveSD.com. In this series of videos, we're going to talk about how to use the Galaxy series from Samsung. Now, this series is going to teach you how to use setups, take pictures, use the voice controls, and more. So, enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to it, tell your friends about it, and let's get it started. Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveSD.com. This is my introductory video to Samsung products. On this one, I'm going to show you the buttons on the unit. I'm going to show you notification bar and some of the basic settings. Now on most Samsungs, you have a volume rocker on one side. You have your power slash standby button on the other side. I'll give you an example, if I press that button, I can hit this button on the bottom to wake it up. If I press it again, I can press that to wake it up. On the bottom here you have, there's a back button here, there's a menu button here, and a home button. And this home button doubles up as a uh, in task bar. So if you press and hold it down, you can see the tasks that are going on and you can close it out right there. Now if you flip the unit over, most Samsungs have a LTE card slot and a memory card slot. That simple, I and mean, that's the battery right there, which has the NFC chip in it on some models. On this particular one, they actually use the NFC on the battery cover, in case you put a thicker battery on there. And that's pretty much it on that. Well, all right, so we cover that part. Now, let's talk about the notifications. If you put your finger about where the Samsung logo is and drag down, you have a notification bar. Now here, I have certain different things I can do. In the corner here, you have these little squares. If you click on that, then you can see all your options that you can toggle through. So if you don't want to see something, um, you can just hit the little edit button and you can control what things you see or don't see. And keep in mind, I usually leave this alone, but if it's something that you use all the time, you want to make sure you can have a drop down, look in here for all your options. I'm gonna hit the back button like I showed you earlier. Back again, now we're done. Now there's two ways to get to the settings. One, if you hit the menu button at the bottom, you can get to settings right there. If you drag your finger down from the top, then you can hit this little gear and get to the settings there. Now in the settings, you have a couple different features. On this one, you can look for these things on various models of Samsung, but you're gonna have some type of airplane mode. This is where you turn your Wi-Fi on. So let me turn it on to give you an example, even though it's already connected to my system, I'm going to press it on. And once you turn it on, you notice you don't see which network you're on. So now you got to press that again, and then it scans for the networks around you. Wi-Fi Direct. If you actually have some other uh, friends that has uh, Wi-Fi um, Samsungs, this actually will, this feature will find all their uh, devices so you can do the music and some other things. Now you have your Bluetooth, same thing, you can turn it on. You got to hit the Bluetooth icon and then you can search for your headphones, your cars. Next thing here, you have data usage. Data usage, uh, not a lot of people have unlimited data anymore, so this is a good feature to go in and turn that on. You can give yourself an allowance and keep in mind your phone will stop working whenever that happens and you can have it to alert you. If you know your billing cycles, you can click on that and then you can actually edit your billing cycles. More settings. This is where you can get to your mobile network. Like for example, if I leave the country, I can go here to network mode and turn it to global or GSM only. Access points I wouldn't mess with. Now tethering, if you pay for the service with your provider, you can hit tethering and you can actually hotspot out your uh, phone via a USB cable or Bluetooth. NFC, that's near field communication and that's going to be used for Google's wallet, sharing pictures with your friends and things like that. S-Beam, if someone has a, another Samsung product, they can actually press that and again send you uh, photos and things like that through your unit. This one is called Nearby Devices. Like for example, this when you turn this on, you can actually find 
your TV set, if you have a smart TV, you can find your music on the uh, network and whatnot. And then screen monitor mirroring allows you to actually take this screen through USB, I mean through the um, Wi-Fi and send your screen over to your bigger TV. Home screen mode basically hides some of the Android software. These uh, varies from model to model, but if I hit starter mode, see how it changes? That's for people who just now got Android and they're a little uh, timid by it, but they can kind of hide all the basic features there. Blocking mode it allows you to block different things like um, incoming calls, your notifications, and you can set up time. So like for example, if you go to bed at a certain time, you don't want anything to happen, you can go in there and control that. And then you have hands-free mode. Whenever you're driving, turn it on. And you can actually have um, the phone to read out messages for you, your alarm schedules and things like that as they occur. So it basically allows you to have a device that talks to you uh, by itself. And then call mode. So you can go block calls, you can do all these little features. This is where you can customize the ringtones, uh, your voicemail, country codes, all those different things. Sounds. Sounds allow you to control your volume, vibrate mode is, and different series. You can actually give your ringtones uh, customization right there. And as you look through here, you can kind of control all the different sounds that come out of your phone. As you see here, there's a whole list of things you can customize right inside of the settings. I have the S Pen right here, so I can control that. Accessibility, that's for you know people who have uh, hearing problems and things like that. You can actually have it to speak out things, talk back to you. You can actually you know increase the font size for your vision. So there's a lot of cool features in here. But that's my introductory video on the Galaxy series of Samsung. I hope you like this one. And uh, go to the next one if you like this video. Please share it with your friends and you have a good day.